In the 2D tab, you have access to three tabs on the bottom panel called Dimensions, Display and Graphics. And you can click between them, or if your screen big enough, you can pull some of them out to see several of them simultaneously. Please make sure that this show all is checked in everywhere in the software. Uh, it is the best practice to go to the view on the top menu and activate show all global. You can see how many functions disappear when the show all is not selected. So first of all, in the dimensions tab, uh, you have functions to zoom in and out into your image and also to color code your channels. You can ask the software to fit the image to the size of the image window and it will automatically resize it when you zoom in and out or to show you one-to-one -one zoom of your image. Now the size of your image will depend on the resolution of your scanning. You can zoom in and zoom out by using these tools or by scrolling the, the scroll bar. And alternatively, you can zoom in on a selected area which is of the most interest for you. So you select and then draw a rectangle on your image and you will get a zoom into it. Or you can zoom in and out of the image by moving the mouse away from you or towards yourself. When you zoomed into your image, you can either scroll these bars to find the place which you would like to see or use this tool to drag the image around. Um, the checkbox called interpolation uh, is used to even out a little bit uh, borders between the pixels on your image. It doesn't do anything to your raw data. This is used only to visualize your image. When I check it in, the software interpolates intensities of the neighboring pixels, which smoothens out and a little bit blurs out your image. Again, it doesn't change your raw data. Um, you can select or deselect the channels which you want to see. Uh, they are not erased from your raw data file, they are just either shown or not shown to you. And you can color code your, your individual channels into any colors you want. There are single color codings available or there are more sophisticated tools available in the look up table. For example, there is a rainbow tool which is quite useful if you want to show differences in the intensities on your image. It codes pixels with low intensities into blue, with slightly higher intensities into green, with even more higher intensity into yellow, and pixels with highest intensities will be color coded as red. And there are different rainbows available which gives you different range of intensities visualized and you can find even more by scrolling the scroll bar. Range indicator is available here, and again, it will color code the lowest, the zero intensity pixels into blue color, the top intensity pixels into red color, and everything in between will be grayscale. Uh, quick color setup is useful when you have multiple channels and you want to quickly color them as blue, green, red, or green, blue, red, or red, green, blue, or all of them you want to have as grayscale, or all of them in the range indicator mode. And these buttons are only useful when you are scanning.